Hello and welcome to the tutorial on odd and even numbers. In this tutorial we're going to cover numbers up to 50. We're going to begin with the number line. And don't forget the number line is simply a line with numbers. It can begin with any number and it can end at any number. So here is our number line. We're going to start at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So this is our number line. From 0 to 9. Now, with this number line, we've done this before with odd and even numbers. We're going to go through and categorize each of these numbers into whether they are odd or even. So let's do that. Right, the first one. Zero is an even number. Now, we've done this before. We count in twos. Okay? If zero is an odd num is an even number, the next even number is 2. And then counting in 2's, the next one is 4. The one after that is 6. And then we've got 8. So those are our even numbers from 0 to 9. We've got 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. It's nice and easy. And all the others are odd numbers. So let's write them down. The first odd number is 1. The next one is 3. The one after that is 5. The one after that is 7. And the last odd number is 9. So those are our odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And again, we're counting at 2's, but we're starting at 1. So that was nice and easy. Now what we're going to do is, we're just going to jot down each of the numbers that are even. So all the even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. By this stage, you should be able to know these straight away. I.e., you should know these without doing the number line. But we've done that by way of explaining. Right, so the odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So those are all the odd and even numbers going from 0 to 9. But what about numbers which go up to 50? So let's work through one or two of those. Let's start with our first example. Suppose you have number, let's write this down here, 17. Now is 17 an odd number or an even number? Now always remember one thing, it does not matter I'm just going to change on this. It does not matter what this digit is. All that matters is the units. Here are the units. How many units are there? Seven. Now seven, let's have a look down here. Seven is over here. So this is an odd number. Seventeen is an odd number. Now that wasn't very difficult, was it? Now let's le let's have a look at our Second example, this time suppose we have number 23. So what is 23? Is that an odd number or is that an even number? Now again, we're not looking at the two, we're only looking at the units. 3, can you see 3 on our chart on the left? Yes you can, it's over here. This is also an odd number. 
it does not matter whether the tens are one two three four five six you just completely ignore it if you're trying to work out the odd and the even numbers just go straight to the units and that will give you an idea okay we're now going to go to our third example now this time suppose we have number 36 36 now where can you see 36 on the left hand side where can you see the digit 6 again we're going to ignore the 3 we're not worried about that we're only going to look at 6 6 is the units so where can you see 6 it's over here so 36 is an even number and again it doesn't matter whether it's a 3 before it this could be anything this could be 3 4 5 6 any digit all you have to concentrate on is the units okay let's try let's try a few more examples how about this number here we've got 45 so what do you think 45 is is that an odd number or an even number I'm gonna let you do this one first and then we're gonna work through it so have you chosen is it an odd number or an even number well let's work through it the four we're gonna completely ignore all we're gonna concentrate on is the units how many units are there there are five units where can we see five five is five is an odd number so therefore 45 is an odd number now let's work on the next one suppose this time we have number 28 so what do you think 28 is is it an odd number or is it an even number again ignore the two all you're gonna do is concentrate on is the units how many units are there eight where can you see eight on the left hand side it is over here therefore 28 is an even number and lastly we're going to do one final example suppose we have the number 50 so we've gone all the way to 50 now what do you think this is is 50 an odd number or an even number again ignore the five concentrate on the units that's this one here zero where can you see zero on the left hand side it's right up here so 50 is an even number and it really is as simple as that once you've had a bit of practice you will know automatically how to work out the odd and the even numbers you won't need to do the number line you will go straight to the even and you can write these down starting at zero count in twos here we have it start at zero and count in twos until you get to eight those are all the even numbers for the odd numbers start at one and count in twos so you got one three five seven nine once you know that you can work out the odd and even numbers of any number that you can think of